Okay, welcome back. In this video, I am going to discuss my first observed active regeneration of the diesel particulate filter in a 2020 Ford F-250 with 6.7 power stroke diesel. Bottom line up front, the active regeneration started at 572 miles. It was completed at 586 miles. The truck was in regen for a total of 14 miles, or if you're driving 60 miles an hour, that's roughly 14 minutes. Something also to note, if you're monitoring your exhaust gas temperatures, your EGR, DPF pressures, and so forth like I do, um, when the truck goes into regeneration, your EGR, right down here, your EGR will go down to zero. The EGR will shut off when the truck's in regen. When I had my 19 Ram Cummins and my 18 Ram Cummins and my 16 Ram Cummins and so forth and so forth, uh, as well as my 19 Ford and the 17 Ford, uh, it's the same thing. Whenever the truck goes into regen, the EGR turns off. There is no EGR uh, when the truck is in regen. So that's how you know. Uh, if you're only monitoring the EGR, or if your truck doesn't tell you, right, and, and, and whatnot. So I am using EasyLink to monitor uh, my truck. My top row here, I got EGT, that's your exhaust gas temperatures. This is bank one, sensor one, sensor two, sensor three, and sensor four. Sensor one is before the diesel oxidation catalyst. Sensor two is after the diesel oxidation catalyst. Sensor 3 is in between the diesel oxidation catalyst and the diesel particulate filter or your DPF. And sensor 4 is after your diesel particulate filter. I'm also monitoring uh, the exhaust pressure sensor bank 1 and the DPF bank 1 inlet pressure. Now, I want to monitor more DPF pressure sensors, but for some reason, my EasyLink, these are the only two uh, related to exhaust pressure and DPF that I can find on my EasyLink. So next, I'm monitoring the commanded EGR duty cycle as well as the actual EGR duty cycle. So again, when the truck goes into regen, you'll know because you'll see the EGR duty cycle go to zero. Normally, the EGR, while driving normally on the highway, what I've noticed about the 2020 Ford is the EGR duty cycle is anywhere between, I don't know, like 16% up to 48%. Uh, but it usually its average is around 28-30% uh, duty cycle. In other words, the EGR is open um, and allowing exhaust gas uh, to be recirculated into the intake. Uh, on my 19 Ford and the 17 Ford, EGR duty cycle was pretty high, anywhere between like, I don't know, it was like, a, like 80% open or 100%. Same thing with the Rams. The 18 and 16 Ram that I had, EGR duty cycle was pretty high. Uh, you know, again, like around 80%. The 19 Ram, the duty cycle for the EGR was much lower, uh, you know, 16 to maybe 25%. Same thing with the 2020 Ford. It's very low. So that tells me they've, they've done some modification, some kind of programming uh, that the truck uses less EGR, and that's good. We want less EGR. Uh, at least that's how I'm reading this. So, because I'm not an expert, I'm not you know I'm not your engineer, right? I'm um, just your average Joe uh, that wants to know more about my truck and what's going on. Uh, so, anyways, this is uh, my first observation of the of the active regen in my 2020 Ford. I'm hoping that it remains at an interval of 500 miles. And unlike my 19 Ford that I had and the 17 Ford, the truck seemed to go into regen all the time, anywhere between 100 and 500 miles. Usually average about 280, maybe 300 miles, the truck would go into regen. And that was quite irritating. With the 19 Ram that I had, it was um, very predictable. At around 1,100 miles, the truck would go into regen. And I really appreciated that about the Ram because I could plan when the truck was going to go into an active or automatic regen and I can ensure that I was on the highway driving a long distance so that I can complete a full regeneration and not have to shut the truck off mid-cycle in a regeneration. 
So with the 2020 Ford, Ford usually does it at 500 miles regardless. It'll go into a regen. So I'm hoping that it would not go into an active regen before that. I'm hoping that the 500 mile mark is it's, it's, its way, Ford's way to keep the exhaust uh, clean. Um, I wish it would go to 1,000 miles like the Ram, but that's okay, 500 miles. If it stays at 500 miles on the dot, then I can, I can plan around that and ensure when I come to the next regen cycle that I'll be on the highway. So this regen, it started, the first one started at 572 miles, and it ended at 586 miles. So that tells me that my next regen cycle is going to be somewhere around 1,000 80 miles, maybe 1,100 miles. So when I get to around 1,080 miles, I can expect my truck to be in a region. So I can plan to ensure that my truck will, that I will be on the freeway driving a good distance for my truck to complete a full region. Something also to note that is different from the 19 Ford and the 17 Ford that I had com compared to this 2020 is that the region was, the region time and mileage was less. This first one was 14 miles. It was in region for 14 miles, or in other words, 14, 15 ish minutes, right? Depending on how fast or slow you drive, right? But roughly, it was in a total region time of 14 miles. And I really appreciate that. That was, that's a lot better than the 19 Ford I had and the 17 Ford. The 19 and the 17 Ford that I had, when it wasn't an active region, it would last a long time, anywhere between 20 and 30 miles or more. Sometimes, one time in the 19 Ford, it was like 45 miles. It was in regen. And that's a long time. That's using a lot of fuel. Also, uh, I just fueled up. And in this cycle, right, this fuel time that I had, um, duration, uh, this active regen occurred, I still got over 19 miles to the gallon. And I, was, and I was driving like roughly 75 miles an hour or 80 miles an hour in this fuel cycle report that I'm, I'm about to report on. And that's really good. Now, on my 19 Ram, uh, I could get over 20 miles to the gallon, even in a regen. I didn't really worry about fuel mileage in the Ram because it always got good fuel mileage. So I'm hoping that this observation is a sign of what is to come, that I can ex still expect decent fuel mileage, that it's not going to kill my fuel mileage. Two, I can accurately predict when it's going to go into a regen. So roughly every 500 miles, I can expect a regen. So I can plan according to that. So I'm really hoping this is the case. And I hope this video um, is helpful for anyone who wants to understand what's going on with their truck in terms of regeneration, emissions, and so forth. Um, I've tried emailing Ford, calling Ford. They don't, they don't talk about the emission system. They don't talk about what's changed, what hasn't changed. All I know is that they've been using the same exhaust system since 2011 or 10 or whatever, right? 2011 when the 67 power stroke came out. Um, it's this massive exhaust system where you got the diesel oxidation catalyst, the SCR, and the DPF at the end all combined as one system. Um, whereas the RAM, they have the dock and DPF together and it's a separate system and then you bolt on the SCR. You can, you can separate the SCR system from the DPF and the dock in the RAM. And I like that about the RAM. Um, but Ford has been using the same exhaust system for quite a while. Um, so I wanted to, you know, I'm, with this video, um, I'm hoping that it seems already that something's different in the programming. Um, and it's a lot better than my 19 Ford and the 17 Ford. So I'm hoping this is a good sign of what is to come. And I will continue to update it one uh, as I rack on the mileage for my truck and expect a fuel mileage report video to come out uh, in the near future.